off here today I'm actually going to be showing you some artwork that I've done from last year and then after that I'm going to show you the Halloween prosthetics I did this year for Halloween. Alright, and I got as long as you let me play in the background. This is wolves together because I have two wolves in this picture. Right there and then there's the one wolf and then back here is the second wolf. This one I'm calling Galaxy because in my perspective this is what the galaxy looks as if we took a picture of it. So, yeah, that's Galaxy. This one has an interesting story behind it. I'm calling I called it Bloody Heart's Desire because um one day last year when I was painting this, I was thinking about what I wanted in my future and I would probably do anything to get it. That was reasonable and then it just came out like this. So yeah, Bloody Heart's Desire. Now this one I'm calling Jellyfish Blues because in my perspective this spreads out my ideas for my future as well as Bloody Heart's Desire but instead I decided to use blue and I put a lot of work into it and all. The last two pieces in this piece they're all watercolors and it's a special kind of paper that when you get it wet you can do whatever the heck you want and it won't bleed through. So yeah, so I just blue. I'm also inspired by Warrior Cats and Naruto, so this piece right here, this is uh, the three plus another warrior. This is Jay Feather, this is Lion Blaze. This side right here is Dubwing, and this side right here is Holly Leaf. So yeah, that's the three. That was a, a rough draft, by the way. This was the final draft. After Sharp Eye J and the Roaring Lion piece will come on Dove's Gentle Wing, same thing, but I had um, stuff added to it. J Feather, Lion Blaze, Holly Leaf, no wait, Holly Leaf and Dove Wing. Sorry, I get mixed up easily. So yeah, that was the final outcome of that, and like I said, I am very, I love Naruto. So I did a girl version of a possession of Nart, of a girl. So Nine Tails get possessing a girl. And I framed some of my work, not a lot of it. Now this is my prize door right here. Basically it's the same thing but different. It's a nine tails possession. I put a lot of shading into this, as you can see from the dark areas. I have a lot of contrast, I got a lot of rest space in this. I actually have this above my bed because I love it to death. And it's a lot it took about two days to make. I, I love drawing. It's something I'm in love with doing. So yeah, that is all my artwork. But now I've got my prosthetics to show, and I make these myself. I don't do any. I don't buy any prosthetics. I just bought some liquid latex and I bought some paint, fake blood, a lot of that stuff. And I had to do it myself. I had to put some. I had to put two pieces on my shoulder, one piece on my. Sh one piece on my stomach, two on my shoulder, and then one on my face. I basically did this for a zombie bite. This took about two to three layers to make, and I had to put it on my face. And I had to blend it in really good. It really hurt doing it because I had to peel it off again. And there's some of you by Justin Bieber. Same thing. Okay. Now this is a gunshot wound that goes right here on my stomach on this side. This probably took about two to three layers to do the same thing, but that one had a lot more photo paper than the other one. This one goes on my shoulder right here, and it hurts like hell when I have to uh, blend it in with my skin because, as you can tell, my skin is pale and this is light pink. So I had to put some light skin tone on it to get it light the way I want it. This took about seven layers, seven to ten layers to do because I had to do the thickness on this, and I can actually still reuse these, and I still have some skin on the back of it, stuck there. Now this, I did something special for this, I actually did 20 layers of toilet paper, I had to individually separate 10 pieces each, so I made 20 total layers of this. I also had to blend the color to make it look like I was burnt really bad, which I was, kind of, made it look like that. It's got that shimmer and I had to put a lot of skin deafeners on it in order to get it like it. 
And th that is actual thread. And I had to actually be very careful. It was still wet when I had to thread stitch it, which I call the stitch effect. I had to be careful because some of it actually tore, like for this example, this tore. So I have to be really careful when I was stitching this. And it turned out pretty well, if you ask me. And I actually do a lot of prosthetic work for my brother and me because he made, wanted me to make him look like Craig Kruger this year, and I did. So that was my artwork and the prosthetics I've done, and it was really cool how I did it. So, like, subscribe, comment down below. Peace out, my alpha pack.